Hey everyone, okay, in today's vlog, I just wanted to go through one easy step that I have used. If you're going through a um, spiritual awakening, nothingness, you've come to a point where you're looking at things, you're looking at people, everything is oneness, you're observing, you're, you've become the observer, you're, you're silent, you're listening to people, and you can see how much ego is within people. Now, if you are in this stage of spirituality where there's been a ton of release, and a ton of surrender, and even with your job where you're just kind of like, I don't know what I'm doing, like who am I, what do I do from here, like in that place of just feeling completely lost, I'll tell you the number one thing, this is gonna seem so simple, but the number one thing that you can do at this moment is to give gratitude. Now I know all of us do give gratitude. I'm sure if you're watching this channel, you get up and you say thank you. You give gratitude to God, you give gratitude to maybe your home where you live. You're extremely thankful for mother nature, for the animals. That's not what I'm talking about. When we're going, I this happened to me anyways. When I, as I have been going through my spiritual journey, I do, I give gratitude every day to the little things and the big things. But what I forgot to do in all of this was to give gra gratitude. Whew. This is my chaga and aloe t um, toner. <laughs> it's a tincture of chaga tea mushroom. Ooh, that went in my, ugh. doesn't, doesn't taste good because because of the alloy but anyways um, but the one thing that I forgot to do was to give gratitude to my past like I'm just going through another work change and I have been feeling so lost because it's like okay now what what's next I've been through so much of this like what is next? And I know I know the purpose is to give outwards and it comes inwards. I understand that. But I was so, I wasn't stuck. I was seeing synchronicities, but I just felt not e even uneasy, just like, like I, nothing, I guess. I just felt nothingness. And I guess the nothingness gives you a little bit of um, feelings of uneasy. So anyways, even though I was giving gratitude at a larger scale, because I'm good at giving gratitude, I am very grateful for everything. I was not giving gratitude though to myself and to what I have done in the past. I was not giving, my gr giving gratitude to the skills that I learned as an entrepreneur. I was not giving gratitude to the people that I met while I was in um, this, well, I still am, in the soap business, um, in Amazon, the people that I know that deserve gratitude because they help me in one way or another. I was not giving gratitude to my feelings. And what I mean by that is I wasn't giving gratitude towards my feelings of what I enjoyed about entrepreneurship. I was so um, stuck in what I didn't enjoy and why I needed this change and to move on that I forgot to give gratitude to myself and what I built. And even before my gym business, um, my soap business, my gym business and nursing, all the skills that I absolutely loved, I forgot to give gratitude to. And you know what this did for me? When I flipped it around and I began to give gratitude to what I love, uh, like just natural, like the, uni the universe, God, whatever you want to call it, started kind of sending me natural synchronicities and signs. Okay, so although I was giving getting synchronicities and signs before, but these synchronicities and signs now started making more sense. So instead of, like when you go through this phase of loneliness, you know you're in alignment, or not loneliness, Ugh, sorry, I'm all over the place today. When you go through this stage of nothingness, um, which is consciousness, 
you, everything's aligned. I know it's aligned. I know I'm in the vortex because I'm seeing all these synchronicities. All these things are happening, but I was unable to put thought to it. I was feeling it, but I was no longer putting thought to it because I know once you put thought to it, um, I was building, I guess, a little bit of a resistance to the ego. But now that I know that the ego is usually like a negative, fear-based, whatever type of thought, and I can tell the difference between it, I now take a step back and I don't react right away. I'm not forcing things to happen. That's the difference. When you begin to give gratitude to yourself, and all the skills you developed in your last job, which brought you to the next, which brought you to the next, which brought you to the next. And then I know consciousness, the spiritual depression happens and you fall flat on your face. When you start coming out of it, don't forget yourself. Don't forget your body. Don't forget to give yourself gratitude. This gratitude, when you're in nothingness and you're leaving the ego behind, will help you put, because you're going to get a lot of synchronicities and you're going to recognize them. You're going to see them because you realize your consciousness. So you will see those synchronicities. But when you give this gratitude to your skills and where you are, those synchronicities will then guide you to what the next step is. And the next step feels good because the ego is going to make you want to rush to the next step. That's how, that's how I've like picked up my, on my ego now. It's like in a hurry to do, do, do action. What's next? This is what I got to get done. This is, but your soul when it's right, it's a, it's, a, it's like you're easing into the next step. The next step you, it kind of unravels in front of you. You visualize it. The vision feels good. It's like, okay, but you now have changed from action, go, 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 to easing into it and feeling your way into it. Like, are you channeling? Right now I'm just doing my ebook on meditation and I find myself channeling like my fingers are going so fast. That's when you're in the vortex. And it's because I used all the synchronicities around me and I eased into it. I hope that helps because, man, that was so hard for me. I'm still going to go through it again, I know, and I'm going through it. I still am going through it, but it was so hard, and that is the best like um, advice through my experience that I can give is um, give yourself gratefulness. Don't forget about you and what you've done, especially the skills that you've acquired. How'd you feel during those skills? What did you enjoy? Remember those feelings. And that will bring it all together again with the synchronicities that you're seeing now. I love you guys. Bye.